Okay, hello everybody. This is Irene from Trinkle's Home and Garden. Um, it's a very, very cloudy day here and out here in Georgia. Um, looks like it's going to rain, but I haven't did a tour in a while. Was feeling a little bit under the weather. So it's a little cool out here, so I'm going to keep my hat on and stuff. But um, I just wanted to give you a quick update and tour of what the garden looks like in December right now. Um, things are moving kind of slow. But I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around and show you all what it looks like right now. So let me turn the camera around and give you a little tour. I'm right here at the entrance of, of, of the little garden. Uh, got my little buddy out here she always wants to be out here she's over there knowing that she can't come into this area but she's enjoying fresh air all by herself okay so let me go over here and take you to um, my sugar snap peas which I'm excited about they have grown uh, above these this um veggie bag is what this is called but as you can see it got a little sugar snap pea here um, I'm not sure exactly how big they supposed to be before I harvest them but I know I've seen a couple more over here like where you can see the flowers oh yeah there's one right here as you can see um, so this is actually the first time I'll get sugar snap peas out of a garden. So that's pretty good. Some of this stuff is grown wild. I have my little greenhouse covered with some all purpose uh, fabric that I bought from Gardener Supply. It's housing my lemon tree right now, which is, and uh, I'll probably give you a look in there because it has some of my, I think I have some mustard greens in there. It's doing well. Over here, as you can see, my little strawberries are still actually flowering. Um, I actually missed that one. It looks like it's overdone, so I'm going to leave it. Maybe it'll drop and put some more seeds. As here's a sugar snap plant down here, and it's not, not looking so good. But, yep, yeah, here's the one of the green stalks it mostly has strawberries in it um, there's another as you can see it has pretty white flowers strawberries supposed to be coming uh, up there too lots of dried up strawberries here has some Bloomingdale spinach right there coming out um, here uh, I want to say that's a beet. Back up, back up. Look, she wants to give a tour too. Um, I'm not sure. That looks like some red kale or something like that. This is my turnip. Uh, Chinese, Chinese. It looks like dill, but it's Chinese celery. So I think the Chinese celery is actually right here. Hey, hey, get out of there. Look, my my little my little girl trying to get in trouble. You know you're not supposed to mess with mommy plants. Anyway, back to the video. These are actually celery that I bought from the store, organic. I put it in in the little ground. Those are my blueberry plants just hanging out. I probably should put them in the thing. I have to dump, come out here and dump water every day. Every day is I come out here and dump it and more water comes. So the little mums looking kind of rough. Um, something growing in there. It looks, I don't know what it is. It looks like weed. Right here I have some onions. Over here, I'm not quite sure what that is, but I'm sure it's some kind of vegetable. And right here, as you can see, these are my collards and the other green stalk. And I have collards and 
beets and uh, that look like kale. I think I plant some e eucalyptus. Oh no, echinacea in here. Um, this is the red lettuce. Uh, more beets, arugula. I see little bugs flying around and gnats, probably from water, but I got the water out. Um, this here is little carrots. Um, mm, not sure what that is. Hmm. I'll figure it out. Paris calls romaine lettuce, uh, beet, more beet greens. Um, but the collards, like I said, they're, they've grown a, a lot more. Uh, if you can see, more collards, um, more little carrots coming. Uh, the arugula looking kind of rough. Uh, red lettuce. Um, more beets. And this is spinach. Um, I see a little lot of little bugs flying around, which I'm not liking. So I'm going to have to do something, get some neem oil or something, because there's a lot of little bugs right here. Uh, not liking that. So get some neem oil and spray that. Um, maybe because it's all the rain, but I'm not liking it. Don't want them on my vegetables. They gotta come off. That's where I planted garlic. See it coming up. Um, in here I planted Brussels sprouts. I don't know what that is. It looks like a weed, but we'll, we'll see. Since I planted Brussels sprouts there, maybe that's what it is. Um, onions, we've been harvesting. Some more grocery store organic celery. I planted Brussels sprouts there too, but I haven't seen anything. Uh, you know that's a no-no. Uh, celery, she's still trying, y'all. She's still trying. Over here, I have some tat soy. Uh, and I thought I'd put some mustard. There it is. It's growing really slow, like I said. Um, the rosemary, still doing good. Um, that was my fig stem. I'm leaving it there, so I want to see. This was a fig. This was my moringa. I want to see if it comes back. Here is just a pile that I've been putting. A uh, little comp trying to make my own little compost there. I put stuff in here, like kale. Uh, I see a little itty bitty there. It's not growing at all, or it's growing very slow. These look like some mustard greens. I put some onions in there too. Some more type of kale. The, 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 the mustard green looks like it's doing good. Um, over here, I think it's another kind of kale. Uh, it's lacinato kale. It's growing slow. Uh, the Swiss chard, growing slow. This uh, green there look like weed. It actually looks like quite a bit of weeds that I need to come in here and pull out. Um, more kale, I think, maybe, or some collards. Mustard greens. Those mustard greens been in there forever, and they are very, very slow. There's a little teeny tiny dill, and it's everything is slow in here. Growing slow, but these onions are growing out of, out of control. Uh, and in here, as you can see, the celery is still going. Um, I'm going to lift up the veggie pod here veggie pod I must say you all is a little bit disappointing because back there I guess that's a cabbage starting to come up and over here mixed with some weeds it's a red cabbage and over here I had a broccoli I had two broccoli in fact I don't know where the other one went here all the purple carrots seems to be doing okay. Here I had some caraba and it looked like it's seeing a lot better days. But I'm not going to pull it out yet because I still see a little teeny bit of greenery inside there. Guess it didn't like the cold. Here goes some lettuce. 
they look like they're doing all right. More lettuce. Here's some red lettuce. Looks like it's doing pretty good. Um, pop choy. Seen better days. Not really happy about that. Back there, I planted some Swiss chard. I'm not sure what's going on back there. These were collards. And in here, they looking kind of rough. So I may very well dig them up and move them. Because they really look like they seen better days. They're not liking this veggie pod. Or all the rain that we've been getting. But those over there. And the over here seem to be doing just fine. So I'm going to take it that they don't like that veggie pod. So we'll see. Oh, open this. Oh, let me take you around the corner over here. Of course, the sage is doing well as, as usual. It kind of not liking too much of the rain either, I see. All this is weed. Was tulips in there. Um, right here, the dill. I got dill. And down there, I put some chives. but And all the other stuff, I'm not sure what that is. Um, in here, let me open this up. This is where my beets are. I'm not going to open it all the way. But as you can see, my beet greens... They're hanging in there. And it looks like I got a weed down there. But you can see the beet greens. Looking pretty good. I think this is a weed. And I'm going to pull it out as it is. Uh, don't, sorry if I'm wobbling you guys around. Let me close up this veggie pot. Here. Uh, and remember that that's my citronellus and yes it has died but last year it came back so I'm gonna leave it I'll probably repot it but I'm gonna leave it because I believe it's gonna come back I have hope I have faith that it will rebound okay so right now I'm gonna go ahead and I don't have any gloves on but I'm going to go ahead and give you a little peek. There's my, my lemon tree in here. And here is my mustard greens. And they're doing just fine in there. So, I'm going to close it back up. Here you go. I just always keep a couple clips. I got off of Amazon, little clips on them, and they seem to be doing just fine. And the grow bags are kind of holding it down. So there you go, you all. That's it for the my first December tour of the garden. Actually looking for it to spring. I still have some green, but I'm looking forward to spring. I'm sure you all are too. In the meantime, I want to say stay blessed. Stay blessed, you all. Stay safe. And if I don't come back anymore in December, I'm going to try to come back. But if I don't, you all have a wonderful, blessed, safe holiday. Till next time. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.